Aries, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for mid-January 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business, as always, and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we could dip our toes in the energy and see what's happening for the lovely Aries Collective out there. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic. Let's see what's up, my guides. Talk to me. What do you got for the Rams here in mid-January 2024? And yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. And at the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot. Just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on. Which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Aries. Been a very interesting past few weeks in regards to the reading. So I'm excited to see what we have for us, right? What's happening for my friends, please? So a lot of you know I'm part of the collective myself. So... We want to see what's happening for us. Beautiful. So we have this nurturing, loving, empress, mother figure type of energy up here. This is all about uh, fertility and its possibilities and its abundance. It's also very loving and caring. So there's a couple of messages we could absolutely pull from this, usually on the very positive side. But before we fully jump into that, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the January subscriber surprise towards the end. So you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye you know i'd greatly appreciate it but enough of the promo into the reading let's talk more about this card shall we so we see this woman she is snuggling up to and holding a baby here so it does give me empress vibes it speaks of the divine feminine so i see this i think of potential i think of creation love care and nurturing so a lot of aries in this time we don't get a reputation for being very affectionate individuals for most astrologers right I tend to see the op opposite, right? I think we're very uh, cuddly when it comes to the people we love. But when we see this card up here, like you might need a few hugs, right? Maybe there's someone around you that wants your affection. This is a big card to me of literally giving or receiving affection. So some of you, I might just give you a big virtual Aries bear hug there for you. But another thing with this is all about possibilities and creation, okay? Whenever we see babies and children, that, that's very fresh and it's about your manifestations, things that you're bringing forth. So I really love to see this Empress type of energy up front because it tells me even if we have some challenges within the reading itself, there's still some possibilities that can bloom forth. For a lot of you, I would say turn up your affection meter a little bit. Give, give hugs, receive them. It's a beautiful type of energy. Let's get into tarot though. And I always say this first card, it doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a little footnote. Let's get you three cards in the upright and we'll get into that intuitive juiciness. So let's shuffle it up one time, see what we have for the Aries Collective here. And while we get this deck together, let's talk about last week's reading. Now, this is something I've been seeing for you coming in and out the past couple of months. Last week's reading was titled A Big Return. So for a lot of Aries, whether it's people, whether it's behavior, whether it's cycles, there was someone or something that could be making another entrance back into your sphere, back into your life. Okay, take that however it hits for you. And just always remember that energy could still bleed over for the coming days and weeks. So don't be surprised if people and things and things from the past start popping up. But we're going to see what we have for you this week. As you know, energy is very fluid, never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you because we could be seeing your vibe or even someone that you're linked to. So let's get it going here. Three cards to start us off. What do we have for Aries, please? Mid-January. Thank you. All right. Strategic planning type of energy here as well. Could be someone keeping tabs on something. I like the two of wands. Could be something in the very early stages, beginning phases. Let's get a couple more and really start to build this out. Okay. This is good energy. Okay. And if you look at the characters, they're both the exact same individuals in the pictures. I find that cool. But the Six of Pentacles, very good balanced type of vibe. It could be karmic energy as well. We'll look into that a little deeper as we move through. Okay. Three of Pentacles, lots of Pentacles, lots of money focus here, Aries, which could be a good thing for some of you. If you're watching this for romance, this could be solid. There's potential here. But let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes then we'll get into those juicy intuitive messages but if you kindly look here in the box at first look first glance as I already mentioned there could be a certain individual taking up these two cards then we have this group on the back we have a lot of pentacle energy which is earthy so when we see a lot of pentacle energy this could be very good but for some areas it could be a frustrating type of vibe we're talking about work we're talking about money business your uh, material focus, okay? So we did see that Empress energy in the beginning for a lot of us. 
This could be a very good time to plant those seeds for material abundance. But let's go break it down one by one because we do have cards of work. There's plans being hatched here with the two of wands in the front end. So let's go piece by piece. Position number one, this good old two of wands. Beautiful energy generally. Now in tarot, all twos represent decisions, choices, being at a crossroads. Do I go left? Do I go right? Early stages of a journey when this card is here. Um, it could even represent partnerships, okay? Same could be said with this Three of Pentacles on the back end. So we do have two cards that represent your circle of influence, people in your life, or people that you might want in your life. The Two of Wands, though, out of all the twos to me, is very much leaning towards strategy and planning. So you might have something in the works. Maybe Spirit's asking you to put some plans into motion, get those plans moving, kick them in the rear, right? Like get a move on with these things because it is fire energy. So just know if you're not planning, maybe spirit wants you to, or this could be someone observing, okay? That's another thing I get with this card. Not quite like the, the Page of Swords, but this could either be plan-based or observing something, right? Because notice this Two of Wands is usually holding like a globe. So there's an observation or watching with this card. Moving to the center, this is where we get a bit of an energy switch. Now we have the Six of Pentacles. I always link this to Libra because of the scales in the card. So you might be connected to Libra when this card is here. This is generally a card of equality. It's a card of balance, whether it's balance in a situation or relationship, or just trying to find your footing. This is a charitable card. This is a giving card. So when I see it, you might be wanting to give your energy to someone or something or somebody could be wanting to give their energy to you when this card is here. It's a beautiful type of energy, but since it does have the scales, I always think of karmic things, okay? So whether it is karmic cycles, karmic shifts, karmic changes, karmic connections, it all really depends on what the clarifier is. I also say that the Six of Pentacles is my card of gift giving. So maybe you're wanting to plan a surprise gift for someone. Maybe someone's planning a gift for you, especially with the strategy here. So it's intriguing how all this energy is starting to come together. Now, I always say all cards have positive and challenge. You know, when we're talking about the two of wands in the front end, a challenge of this card could be someone that's always planning, always waiting, and they're never taking action. A challenge of the six of pentacles could be either situations that are way off kilter or people that take advantage of your kindness. So watch out in this time. Don't let anyone take advantage of your kindness. To the back end, we get the three of pentacles. This is an intriguing card. This is one of the biggest cards of work, like what we do for a living, how we earn money. This is a card of teamwork. So teamwork makes the dream work. We could be looking at the energy of specifically either someone you work with or someone that's in your circle of influence when this card is here. So the clarifier could be really important. This is also a diligent card. It's a hard working card. It's somebody that puts a lot of energy in. So we're seeing that here on this back end. If you're not super business or money focused in this time, Spirit might want you to turn your energy that way, okay? If you've been having your energy in different places, or like I said, we could be seeing energy of somebody else that's in your midst. Now, the challenge with this Three of Pentacles is either a work situation that's just not working, a group dynamic that's just not working, or somebody that just doesn't play nice with others. So there might be someone in your circle that's like a thorn in the side. Don't want to go there just yet, but I want to dive deeper on all of it, Aries. Let's jump in and clarify. All right, let's get a good shuffle here for you, my friend. See what's happening. Talk to me, my guides. What do we got for Aries here? And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot, because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. What's going on at Two of Wands? What's this plan or this observation happening? And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages that you want to give to Aries, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. All right, two of wands time. Why is that two here? Okay, you get a blooper reel. The card fell on the ground. I'm going to go down and pick it up. Oh, we got double twos. Interesting. Two of swords in the upright. It landed in the upright as well. This, ooh, Okay. All right, so either this is somebody keeping tabs or watching you from a distance, or this could be somebody like really hatching a plan. Okay, I saw that for you like a month and a half ago, I believe. It's showing up once again. So all the things that I was saying about twos does continue here. Another vibe I'm picking up here, it's someone that they don't know what their next move is or they don't know what their next action is. Yes, there's like a keeping tabs. Yes, there's 
and observing or watching here, but this person might be in the mode where it's like, all right, well, I don't know what I should do next. Should I do this or should I do that? Should I not do anything at all? This could be someone that's very much confused on what way to go. But I always say with the Two of Swords, it's one of my biggest cards of the unexpected. It's a card of mystery. So when I see it under a card of observation and planning, I just got to give it to you straight. There's either someone making a plan that hasn't been released yet or it's somebody that's observing from a distance for sure and yeah there is that confused energy as well where there could be someone they, they just don't know how they want to handle a situation so we'll see how it plays out as we move throughout the rest of the reading if i start seeing more vibes of like energy being put into a situation because remember both of these cards back here are effort so we have the planning stages or the view and the observation now we might be moving into the action as we press forward in this reading. So that's an interesting way to pick that up. Another thing I want to say with the double twos on the front end, watch out for the signs, the synchronicities from spirit might be trying to send you messages like via numbers and synchronicities. So maybe look into the angel number two, because I, usually that's a good one. But let's go in on that six of pentacles here. Let's see what action might come forth. So it's like we have the setup to a possible situation. Let's see why the six is here. Why is the six in the mix? Thank you. Okay, somebody purposely being a little conservative. Okay, so I don't feel like this is someone like withdrawing their energy, but it's someone being very, very cautious on purpose. That's the intuitive vibe this has given me in a very powerful way. It's like, all right, I don't want to rock the boat. I don't want to cause waves. I don't want to shake something up. There is somebody that wants to kind of keep something as similar as like, I want to keep things the same. I don't want to stick out. I don't want to like, this is somebody that's just trying to lay low, but I'm not getting that full withdrawal of energy. That's another thing I'm picking up. This could also be someone I'm getting the energy of like drip feeding or bread coming, crumbing in some sort of way. So watch out in the coming days and weeks especially if you're dealing with someone in a relationship uh, spectrum. It could be someone that like throws you little breadcrumbs of attention or little breadcrumbs to keep you linked. Okay, that just came out of nowhere. But a big thing I'm picking up here is someone being purposely very, very cautious. Okay, it could be linked into what we have here on the front end. Maybe it's someone that's like, all right, I don't want to mess this up. I don't want to mess up this situation. It's just, I'm just getting a big caution. Okay. If there is somebody, and I will say this in regards to the gift giving, the, I mean, these are both karmic as well up the center. So I'll see when we get to the back end, if we do have more karmic action, karmic warnings or what have you. So there's a strong karmic energy here, especially with the number signs. Let's keep moving over. I don't want to get too hung up here, but this is someone being purposely cautious. Okay. Watch out for the breadcrumbers, seriously. But let's go in on that three of pentacles. I mean, maybe there's a method to the madness, right? Like if you're dealing with someone that's a little skittish or whatever it might be, I'm not picking up a big confidence with this person. So they're not trying to cause any issues. Let's see why that three of pentacles is here though. And we'll do a quick recap. All right, big energy around work as well. Okay, so we have the eight of pentacles, my two biggest cards of work, literally, like what we do for money, how we earn money. For a lot of you, there could be big changes in that realm of life for you whether it's coming up or whether it's something you've recently been putting a lot of energy into. I see a lot of you really throwing a lot of energy into either a group dynamic or a work dynamic. It's like, all right, I want to make this work. This has to work. It's giving me that type of vibe. You might feel like there's certain individuals that aren't fully pulling their weight, okay? Where it's like someone that talks a good game, talks a big game, but you might feel like you're putting most of the effort forth. So, Take from that what you will, Aries. I'm not going to tell you what you should do or what you shouldn't do, but don't be surprised in the coming days and weeks if you feel like you're putting more effort into something than somebody else, because that's a big vibe we're picking up. Now let's talk about this Eight of Pentacles. Once again, like the Three of Pentacles, very diligent, hardworking. There's a big link to artistry and creation here. So there's the manifestation. It, it's just something to really watch out for. There could be somebody that's like latching on to your hard work as well. I don't know why I'm getting these odd little messages here. So watch out for people that try to latch on to your hard work or latch on to what you're doing. Okay, don't be surprised. All right. Now, I will say this. If some of you are going through certain relationship things, this could be someone very much gung ho to like, all right, well, let's fix this. Let's get this going. I want a lot of peace and tranquility where there's still this cautious energy. So 
I'm getting the vibe of someone that wants to push, 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 and another person that's like slow, slow, slow. So take that however you will if you're going through relationship things. Let's go through and do a quick recap because a lot of energies, a lot of messages are coming through. So take it however it fits for you, Aries. But in position number one, and we also have the karmic energy here. So there could be karmic situations happening. We'll just see. But we have the double twos, right? We have the two of wands, two of swords right there in the front end. And I gave a few messages here. One, it could be someone that's making a plan. It could be somebody that's observing or watching and they're doing it from a distance or they don't want to be noticed that they're doing that as far as like someone who's making decisions decisions choices or plans they don't know how to act on it or there there's some confusion like where do i go from here or what do i do from here that's a big vibe watch out for the signs and synchronicities especially because right next to it we have a double down of karmic energy we have the six of pentacles and judgment in reverse so we have archangel energy i did say yeah you might be going through certain karmic shifts and changes in life as well but a big thing here was caution right like somebody who's like trying not to do the most or trying to not put a lot of effort in purposefully another thing i said watch out for is breadcrumbing in this time or somebody that just gives you little drips and drabs of attention or effort is what i'm seeing moving to the back end we get a much more diligent forceful type of energy which lines more to aries in my personal opinion we have the three of pentacles with the eight of pentacles and the upright a lot of work situations a lot of changes in work situations could be coming up for a lot of you if not you going through them already but with the three of pentacles eight of pentacles it's like all right let's get this going let's work let's do it so watch out for people that aren't meeting your effort level whether that's relationships or work and watch out for people that are trying to like benefit off of your hard work that's what I'm picking up okay and if it is relationships once again one person's much more forceful the other person is much more cautious so keep that in mind please take a screenshot Aries let's get into the shadow card now oh man that was a lot of energy right here on the back end but yeah let's get one shadow card for you Aries let's see what's up and as you know I always like to pull one at the very end I like to see what's in the shadows whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see doesn't always have to be a challenge so Let's get you one. Could be a positive shadow card, right? Oh, and yes, if you've made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It is a beautiful way to support the channel, and there's no pressure. I just got to mention it. So let's get you one shadow card here, Aries. Let's see what's happening. What is in the shadows? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> So we have tower energy showing up in the shadows and you, we all know what this is about. Towers represent shock and they represent surprise. So could it be around the situations we were describing? Possibly. Now, not every tower is a bad tower. Okay. And I say that every time it comes up, but the fact that it's in the shadows could mean a couple of different things for some of you. You could still be recovering from an event or a tower moment where there was a big shakeup or it came on very suddenly. And this is somebody that could still be in recovery mode. For some of you, this could be your energy level. And when we think of the tower, we think of forceful, focused, movement type of energy. So just know you might have a lot of energy within you that you need to expend when we have the tower here on the back end. But yeah, there could be something you still need to heal from when we see this in the shadows, okay? And for some of you, there, there could be a big surprise coming up. Okay, just don't say I didn't warn you when we have the tower in the shadows. There could be some sort of big shift or change when this card is here. It's also Scorpio energy. So Aries, that's what I have for you this week, my beautiful friends. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the January subscriber surprise. For the January subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of the beautiful Tarot of the Owls Tarot deck. It's one of my favorite new decks out there. So if you'd like to get your name in for that, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments what are one of your biggest goals for this year that we just entered into. You'll be entered to win, and at the end of the month, I'll announce the winners in my community tab at random. As always, my friends, much love, and I'll see you again soon.